Okay, <laughs> this is Julie Wolf, and she asked me about uh, chat history. So I'm revealing to her how to go to Skype.com. Right, retrieving Skype history. So we're just going to our browser and typing in Skype.com and then clicking support. Just ignore the menu there and just click the support tab. And then, what's your question, Mary? Did you have a question? Okay, we're going to do a search for Skype chat history, or just chat history, and uh, it will come up with, this is the chat history, right? We're, we're, we went to uh, support, skype.com support, forget all these menus here, just click the support, and then type in whatever you're looking for, like chat history in this case, and you might want to read anything that looks relevant that I want to show you is at this point if you go over to the right and click related and sorry under related click get more help it will have you log in then you'll have two choices if you're lucky <laughs> start a chat is awesome and I want to show you what that's like it's really amazing um, you may not have this unless you have at least three months of credit or a subscription. It might be worth buying some Skype credit just to have that. And this email support is usually the only thing that people have. And it sucks. <laughs> Sometimes they help you if you know what to ask. I have videos to help you recover hacked accounts and things like that. Tutorials. Um, that will tell you exactly what to ask for, for for certain things. You may be able to do it with email support. If you're if you're if you think you're hacked, if you think your Skype account's been hacked, by the way, the first thing you do is change your password. Log in here and change your password. You might be able to get it back from the hacker. But uh, using email support for that has been a bit of a challenge for most people. Uh, you might want to get some Skype credit to to start a chat or pay me some money and I'll get it done for you. <laughs> oh, I, I have a 100% recovery rate on it's of hacked accounts. It asks you for your email and then you choose this is the live support, right? That's what I do for hacks, hacked. Let me, uh, how do you Skype, make a call? can't use a password account status. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter what you choose here. Try to pick something close. Um, okay, so I'm going to click start a chat. Okay, so this is what the live chat support looks like. And we'll ask them how long does uh, Skype keep my chat history and where do I back it up from or get it from. Okay, so to conclude, I've been having a conversation for uh, a while <laughs> with um, Skype uh, live chat here. And uh, if necessary, you can ask for a supervisor. They sometimes know more, although uh, occasionally I experience that they know less. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, live Skype chat is really great and it's available if you have um, a subscription or Skype credit worth uh, the equivalent of three months, I believe. And um, this question about Skype chat has been phenomenal. <laughs> I'll have to blog about it. Um, not sure what I can share with you right now, but um, it's interesting. I actually have instructions for restoring, let's see, to transfer your chat history from one computer to another. Um, you can use the bookmark feature. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to actually, maybe I'll try to sneak this into this video here. If I want to, <laughs> if I want to, uh, I'm going to use Mary here because it was her question. <laughs> if I want to go back to the beginning 
if we, I've only known her for three months or less. But if you wanted to go back to the very beginning, you can set your. This might take a little. Let me get Hyla. That that would be amazing to uh, to do this with Hyla. Um, if I want to recovery recover chat history because Skype is peer to peer and chat history is stored in each other's computers. That's why Skype rooms are so awesome. I'm going to click from beginning here and this goes back years. Wednesday, October 18th, 2006. Is it updating? Yeah, this will take a minute. <laughs> Going back to <laughs> 2006 with Hyla. Um, I believe you should be able to reset the bookmark to uh, to the beginning um, of history and that like for example Mary's history was seems to have been lost but if if her friend Gary went back and set his history to um, the beginning to show messages from the beginning show messages from you have to scroll to the top and show messages from um, now this is going to take a while because it's years. <laughs> How many years is that? Five years. Anyways, if I go back to the beginning and I should be able to uh, right click and bookmark and then if Gary does that in his chat with Mary, um, I believe Mary's history would reset as well as unread messages. We'll see. It's just a theory. So, okay. So this is the little trick I wanted to do. If you right click, this is a beautiful message you wrote. I'm going to move the bookmark here. That will make it, make it unread. See, it closes and says that there's two messages there. So now, if someone does that in their computer, you should be able to recover that chat history as well, is what I'm thinking. According to what I just learned from the Skype live chat uh, and my other resources on Skype, <laughs> employees and beta testers and people I can ask, there might be a way to restore lost history that appears to be lost and also to move history from computer to computer. So give that a try. Anyway, thanks for watching. And again, this is Julie Wolf with another Skype tip. If you'd like uh, more of my Skype tips, I do have the Skype tips blog newsletter, and it's at incomeassurance.com slash Skype. Incomeassurance.com slash Skype. Whenever I video or blog, you'll get an email with a link back. And if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you will... Uh, see it there too <laughs> if you subscribe to the newsletter. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.